What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know that it has been a very, very long time since I've done like a normal full day of eating for you guys. So I'm getting ready to fix you guys my breakfast on what I would typically eat. So normally I would switch either between oats or we have the rice and grinds, cream of rice. This takes a little bit longer to cook since, and since that's the case, I'm gonna go with oats for today. So we're gonna make this a very, very simple. So I actually brought some of these Quaker packs back home. This is a uh, flavored maple and brown sugar, but it doesn't have any sugar in it at all. So we're gonna add one pack. Each one of these packs has about like three grams of fat, 28 carbs, and around seven grams of protein. They do add a little bit of fiber to it as well. So that's a good benefit. And then we're gonna add an additional serving, which is gonna be about 40 grams of oats on top of that to make it one cup of oats. Obviously we have to go ahead and throw in some water. Oops, <laughs> a little powerful. And then we're gonna to toss this in the microwave, let it cook for about a minute, and then once that's done, we'll add the toppings. Okay. Now that the oatmeal is done, it's nice and cooked, we actually put it in there for 90 seconds. So the cooking time is going to vary depending on the microwave and the strength of the microwave. So now we are going to add a little bit of protein. So this is a salted caramel flavor protein. And since this is only the, this is going to be the only protein source that I use for this meal, typically I would have like, I would do like egg whites or something on the side. We're going to go with about a serving and a half. So we're going to toss in about 45 grams. Stir it in. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Texture is going to vary between the person you can make this a little bit more like watery and liquidy or I like it this to me is perfect right so now uh, I'm gonna chop I'm actually gonna use half of this apple your arm is so thick you can barely see the apple so apples are in season right now so it's a perfect time to eat apples during the summer my favorites are grapes I love grapes you guys know I love grapes so we're just gonna put this like this, spread it out on top, take away some of the seeds and stuff. I'm gonna eat this. Is it good? Mm -mm -mm. Danish apples. Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. All right, now for measuring peanut butter, we're gonna put it on the scale, zero out the scale just like I did. And then this is the best way to measure in my opinion. That way, you're not, you know, it's getting everything that's on the spoon and stuff, right? You're not having to wipe it back down. So I want to do 30 grams, which is going to be, we'll just, mm, we'll do that. 27, I don't have to dig back in. I'm going to leave that in there. So that um. is it, guys. So this is breakfast. We have one cup of oats, half of a huge, ginormous Danish apple two tablespoons of peanut butter, and then one and a half scoops of the protein. I'll make sure that I'm giving, I'm gonna give you guys all of the total macros and everything per meal. It's gonna be in the description box below. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be preparing all my meals for today, show you guys kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Get a little bit of peanut butter in there, mm. some apple. So I'm gonna eat this and get started on some of my client programs that I'll be fixing for now, and then I'll see you guys at the next meal. All right, guys, so we are back in the kitchen for meal number two. I wanted to break down the macros for that first meal. So we had 22 grams of fat, 87 grams of carb, 51 grams of protein with that bowl of oatmeal that I showed you guys. All right, so now we're fixing up the second meal for the day. So we have basmati rice. We have some chicken breasts, which I've already chopped up. This is uh, 450 grams, which is roughly one pound of chicken. And then here we have 500 grams of broccoli, but I'm not gonna be eating all the broccoli with this meal. We're just gonna split this in half. So let me show you guys what I'm doing on how to prepare it. So as you've seen, I've already chopped up all the chicken. I seasoned it with this three uh, seasoning. So we have Goya, 
adobo. This is my favorite all-time seasoning. Literally, I call it the universal seasoning because <laughs> it says all-purpose all purpose seasoning here. But it literally goes well on everything. You have fish, chicken, steak, pork. I mean, you name it, it goes amazing on it. And then this is a grill seasoning from here in Denmark. The brand is Santa Maria. And then this is uh, going to be cayenne pepper. I like to spice things up, get a little bit spicy. So here we have 100 grams of basmati rice already measured out. So now we just need to throw in about 160, 175 grams worth of water in here and put it to a boil on the stove. And then the same thing with the broccoli. We're gonna put this over here inside this pan. I have a little bit of water already in here and we're just gonna boil it down. First thing we need to do is rinse off the rice, get some of the starches out. So I like to Rinse it a couple times. And what we want to do is just steam this up. All right, so now I'm just going to turn the stove on for each one. So for the broccoli, we're gonna bring it to a boil. So I'm gonna put it on high. The chicken, we need to put it on medium heat. So we're gonna put it around five. Wait, I'm gonna allow this to heat up first before I apply any of the chicken. And then same thing with the rice here in the back. We're gonna put this on high and then bring it to a boil. So once the rice starts to boil, I'm gonna put a top on it, bring it down to like level two, and then put a timer on for 12 minutes. Same thing for here, I'm gonna put this up to a boil, then bring it down to super low, and then just let it steam. Once again, when the pan is hot, I'll put the chicken on here, and then put something over it so that it can steam. All right, so the rice has now come to a boil. So now I'm gonna put my timer on for 12 minutes, and then I'm just gonna put a top on it, and let it, let it do its thing. Then the pan is still not hot enough just yet. This is coming to a slight boil. Once it does, like I said, I'll go ahead and put the top on it as well and just let the broccoli steam. Okay, now that the pan is, I believe is hot enough to add chicken. So let's go ahead and throw that on there. And then from here, Instead of having to worry about it and come back and flip it and do all these things, I'm just going to add this foil on top and this is going to allow it to essentially steam and cook on its own. So we'll go back, we'll check back on this within about mm, 10 minutes or so and see how it's doing. Rice is, is finally cooked. So you see, I put the 12 minute timer on and it's cooked to absolute perfection. We also have the broccoli here, so I went ahead and uh, distributed half of the broccoli, so we have the other half here. This I'll save for another meal. And then the chicken is now 100% cooked, as you can see. I just let it steam like, like I showed you with the foil over it. That way you're not having to mess with it, continually to flip it or look, you know, having to pay too much attention to it. Just let it, let it, all you want to do is let it, let it do its thing. So let's go ahead and plate everything now. Super simple, easy bodybuilding meal. This is literally the typical meal you would see most people uh, put together. Normally, I would pair some fats with the meal, but since I'm gonna be training probably within the next hour, hour and a half, this will be my pre-workout meal. I'm not gonna put any fats in it. The flavor of the chicken is fantastic. Super, look at that. Look how moist that is. Let's see if I can, there we go. Look at that, look at the steam. Very tender. Man. Really good, very simple to make. The chicken, literally three seasonings, very easy and it tastes fantastic, guys. None of this has to be complicated. If you wanna make food taste good, that's the way to do it. Make sure you season and spice it very well and then voila, just eat it up. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna put this meal down and I'll see you guys at the next meal. All right guys, so for the last meal of the day, I decided to go with something carbless. So I need a little bit more fats and protein for the, for the, for the whole day. Uh, so I decided I would just go ahead and boil up six eggs. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. So just started boiling about a minute ago. Usually it would take about 10 minutes for it to cook all the way through.
They've been boiling for 10 minutes, and now I decided to let them sit in some cool water for a few minutes just to bring the temperature down. It also makes it a lot easier to peel. Look at that, look how smooth that is. And there we have it guys, so check out how perfectly cooked that egg is. That's exactly how you want it to be done. So like I said earlier, have it boiling, put a timer on for 10 minutes, cooks it perfect every single time. No overcooking. Once it's done, put it in some cold water, let it sit for a couple minutes and then peel away and you're gonna get the perfect boiled egg. But guys, that is the last meal for the day. I'll make sure that I leave all the meals, macros and everything in the description box so you, so you guys are able to see. And I'll leave this one here on the screen as well for, for this particular meal. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I uh, hope you guys look forward to the next one. Peace.